More news on the scene at 6. This has been a Channel 4 News Extra. Call Channel 4's News Line for the latest news. You have term paper, you got Sloan. Yep, Sloan wants me to tape two shows today, plus I've got to go over my interview notes. But I always have time for you, so eat. You're not having anything? No, I'm not very hungry. What, are you kidding me, honey? You got to eat for two people now. What I really have to do is tell Mom I'm pregnant. Yes, you do. But you know, I've been thinking lately, I mean, what, what is the right time exactly? And if there is a right time, what am I going to say? Oh, well, look at this. Ozzy and Harriet at breakfast. Hi, come on in, why don't you? Oh, Lauren, this... Our breakfast is not a very good time. You invited me here. Said you wanted to have a business meeting. I did? Mm. I'm sorry, I forgot. Well, I'll wait while you change. I assume you won't want to conduct business in your jammies, right? Oh, this looks good. Thanks. Frankie, uh... Don't say anything. It's done. What's done? I can't believe it, Cass. I think we're actually ready to get married. Frankie, no, I'm hold that thought. Second... I have to call Franco and confirm the arrangements. Wait. <laughs> I don't think we should get married at Tops. Oh, Christy put you up to this, didn't no, she? No, no, no. I don't want to give Felicia another reason to drink. Not after last night. Oh, I, I guess you do have a point. I wish we could end up putting more pressure on her and then. Oh, Cass, what do we do? We still have the most wonderful romantic wedding two people in love could have, but... just not a tops. You think you can handle it? We do have four days. I guess we could get married right here. I'm sorry, B. I thought you'd say you'd spring for the pizza parlor. Well, who's going to tell Felicia, Cass? Oh, yeah, right. Greetings, you Alicia. two. Alicia, now, there's no time for chit-chat. Frankie, I want you to go in and get your list. Cass, get Christy on the phone, tell her to be here in ten minutes, because we have to finish planning this wedding. <laughs> Are you all right? What happened? I was having some trouble breathing. Why didn't you call for me? It was a minor episode. This is because of me, isn't it? Because we argued last night. Christy. Christy, my heart is dying. Eventually, so will I. Oh, stop. Please, don't say that. I can't stand to hear that. I have to know you'll be all right without me. That's why I can't have you shut me out of your life now, Christy. You understand? You're right, my love. You've been right all along. Cass. I've fallen in love with you. The Big Apple, fastest city on earth. We're here to introduce something new, oatmeal crisp with apples. With so much to savor, no one can rush through a bowl. Crispy pieces of real apple and a touch of cinnamon. Plus big flakes bursting with hearty oatmeal baked to a brown sugar crunch. A Big Apple tastes so new, everyone's taking their sweet time.
New oatmeal crisp with apples. The taste that refuses to be rushed. Give George, Abe, and Andrew the day off. Celebrate President's Day at Sears Brand Central President's Sale. Pay less for more of America's favorite brands. Kenmore, KitchenAid, GE, Whirlpool, and more. Including this huge 18-cubic-foot Kenmore refrigerator for only $579.99. You save $100. And this large-capacity washer is only $249. Matching dryer, $219. Save $50 on the pair. So leave these guys at home. And save at Sears Brand Central President's Sale now. Hi, I'm Regis Philbin. You know, I've been suffering with back pain for years. I tried all these rubs. They worked, but I smelled so medicine-y. Then I discovered odor-free Asper Cream. I just rub an Asper Cream for hours of concentrated relief right where I hurt. It relieves the pain fast, and it's odor-free. That's the difference. Go ahead, try odor-free Asper Cream yourself. With Asper Cream, you'll get fast relief, hours of relief. And Asper Cream is aspirin-free. Only one can be the creamiest, because only one is made with Velveeta cheese sauce. Definitely not a powder. The creamiest. There's only one. Velveeta shells and cheese. One, two, one, two, three. Four. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that chip can roll. Give me a break. You worked for McCory. Matt Corey was one of the greatest men I ever met. Mm-hmm. Me too. Did I ever tell you about the first time I met him? Mm, no, but I'd like to hear about it now. It was my first week on the job. And I'm walking in the front door, and I see this giant of a man walking toward me, and there he was. Matt Corey, wearing thousand dollar suits, owning everything around him. And there I was. Flannel shirt, blue jeans, day old ink under my fingernail. So, so, tell me, what did you do? I, I ran for the nearest exit. I just looked at my feet and kept walking. <laughs> the next thing I know, I hear this voice. Good morning, Hank. I couldn't believe it. Hundreds of people in that company. Every one of them more important than me. And Matt Corey knew my name. Mm-hmm. He knew the name of everyone who ever worked for him. You know, he made you feel like there was nothing you couldn't do. No ladder you couldn't climb. Even this guy's down at the bottom. No, the top's with me. Iris, we come from two completely different worlds. Don't fool yourself. So? So. So how do you think I feel sitting here in this silk bathroom? Oh, I think you feel one. And again, of course, if you don't like it, you could always take it off. Iris. Mm -hmm. We made love last night, and it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was. But this morning, I woke up on iron linen sheets. I'm wandering around in an apartment that looks like it belongs in a museum. And? I just don't fit in, Iris. I just... I don't see how there could ever be any place for me here. It's all right with you. Dean, it's business. Of course it is. No, well... Just talk to Lorna and pretend I'm not here. Okay. What? <clears throat> Let's talk. Great. I brought the papers for you to review. It would help, though, if we could spread them out. Well, let's, uh, we can do them on the floor. What... You know what? Um, why don't you guys go ahead and use the table? No, honey, no. Oh, really? It's... I gotta start getting ready anyway. Okay, let's go. I'm tired. Are you practicing already? You can, uh, okay. you don't have to take the file on them, all right? This is what you asked me over here for. No, it isn't. And I don't want Jenna to hear this. No 
problem. The problem is you. What? Please. You insult me and then you want me to shut up about it? No, Lorna, my career is going zero miles an hour, okay, under your exclusive management, and I'd like to know what you're doing. Listen, I was the one who got you the deal with Stark. No, no, excuse me. You did not get me the deal. I got the deal. You closed the deal. Yeah, you're damn right I did. Right, and that's exactly where it stopped. Now, I want a little action, Lorna, or I want another manager, and I'm being honest. Newsflash, Dean. Shh. You can hire any manager you want, but they're not going to be able to do a bloody thing unless you write some songs. Now, face the fact that Jenna's little pregnancy has monopolized your time. I have been a little preoccupied. A little? Yes, but if you see that, it's your job to do something about it. I'm not your babysitter. No, you are my manager, Lorna. You're my manager. If I'm not going ahead, if I'm, not a, if I'm sitting on my butt, it's your job to get it in gear. You have to tell me my job. No, but I don't, it's not my job to call you over here and tell you what your job is. Look, I've been a little bit busy, all right? Fine, so we've both been a little busy with family stuff. Yeah, well, maybe. No, not maybe. Definitely, Lorna, okay? Definitely. We've both been busy. It's not... I have got to stay with Felicia, okay? She needs me. Look, I totally understand about Felicia. I totally understand, but that does not mean that my career should come to a grinding halt. I don't care how much Felicia needs you. Is Christy on her way? I didn't call her. Why? Because we need to talk. Well, I certainly know that look. Well, then you know what I have to say. Kathy. Last night was nothing. You're fooling yourself, honey. I'm very worried about you, Felicia. You know, I didn't come over here to discuss whether I should or shouldn't have a social drink at a social affair. Felicia. Frankie and I had to carry you home and okay. put you to bed last okay, night. Okay, I admit it. I, I did. I had too much to drink. And you you both were wonderful. I, you took care of me. You brought me home. I, I really appreciated that. But it's over. I'm fine. End of discussion, okay? I'm going to leave you two alone to talk. You don't have to do this, Frankie. I have a lot to do, Felicia. Mm -hmm. Okay. You take care. was subtle. She's just trying to help. I don't know what it is you think I have to say to you. How about admitting that you were drunk last night? Boy, Rachel and Lorna have finally gotten to you, haven't they? They have filled your head with lies as everybody else, right? I can see for myself what's uh, happening. What do you want to do? Smell my breath? Good? Felicia. Smell anything? Felicia. I know. Why don't we look through my bag don't here? Don't do this, Come please. on, let's see don't if we can do find this. You know what? Look through my pockets. Maybe I've got one of those little bottles. You know, they give you on airlines. I even sometimes put it in a Felicia, toilet tank. Felicia, please. So then I can get tanked. Will you stop this? I'm not on Lorna's side. I'm not on Rachel's side. I'm on your side. We're all on your side, except you. Occasionally. I drink. Everybody does once in a while. Your drinking caused a fire that almost killed that you. That was an accident. Would you get off my back about it? Will you face Don't yourself? Don't blame me for everything that goes wrong here, Cass. I'm not it's blaming you. It's not my you. fault. It's I'm Rachel's fault. I'm just asking you to, to that, admit that, that you have a problem. Witch. It's her fault. They're the ones that threw me off my show. Listen to yourself. Oh. You're blaming everybody else yeah, for your problems. I'm supposed to blame your myself. Problems. Is that it? And what about? I her? want you to what accept responsibility for your. What about his death and Sally your... Madison? What about that? And what about the fact that I'm unemployed now? I Am want I you to, to admit that you have a problem this? and that you need you help. Let go of me. What? What? You're going to be the one to help me? Is that it? If I can, of course. That's what I'm here for. Uh -huh. I am. Uh, I don't go. Come here. Don't go. Don't. I'm sorry, I bothered you. Rachel Corey, please. Rachel Corey. It's Cass. Hi, Cass. What can I do for you? I'm calling about Felicia. What's happened now? If we don't find a way to help her soon, I'm afraid that she's going to totally lose it. No, I didn't mean to fall on Cass. Tell me what happened. I don't know. He was just so helpful. He was always there for me. 
He's your lawyer. He's doing his job. I know, Douglas. But the, the thought of losing you is intolerable. But he was there for me every step of the way. He was my rock. Was he? When my world went dark, he, he opened a window and let in light. When I was inconsolable, he, he found something to make me smile. And the night we danced, when he held me in his arms, I just wanted to stay there forever. He's your best friend's fiance. Douglas, I know I shouldn't be feeling this way. Do you? Of course I do. Mary Frances would be terribly upset. Do you care? How could you say that, Douglas? Then why have you let this charade continue? Charade? Douglas, you're the one who wanted me to find someone. You told me to go out and find someone. But not Cass. This is impossible. You're letting your fantasies be weaved out of thin air again. How can I stop seeing Cass? I mean, how could I ever explain that? Especially to Mary Frances. She deserves a happy marriage, they both do. No one will ever know how I truly feel, ever. Please, don't ever make promises of the heart, Christina. Your psychiatrist in New York gave me this. A referral, if you ever need to see anyone in Bay City. Do this for me, for everyone. Of course, I really do need to talk to someone. We have so little time left, Christina. I don't want any trouble to spoil it. Did you invite someone? It's probably Dr. Beckett. I asked him to come last night after your episode. Send him away. I can't do that, Douglas. Do what you will. Douglas. I won't see him. Send him away. He's here because you're too stubborn to go and see him. I don't want any more tests. And I don't want you to die. Why can't something work like my soft cleanser without leaving all this grit? Can't anything clean soap scum better than this? Introducing an old friend with a new job. Now there's a Mr. Clean bathroom who cleans to the shine. Disinfectant liquids can leave soap scum, while soft cleansers don't rinse away all their grit. But Mr. Clean bathroom cuts through tough soap scum, leaving nothing but the shine. Full strength or in the bucket? New Mr. Clean bathroom cleans to the shine. After 25 games, my daughter can give her soccer shirt a real workout. And her uniform could have faded beyond recognition after all those washings. But it hasn't, because I'm using Tide. Tide has Color Guard, so it tackles most tough stains and helps prevent the colors from fading. So she doesn't grow too much, this uniform might even last another season. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. There's never been a tissue like new Ultra Soft Puffs. It's amazing. This is like a powder puff. I have just discovered something that is really great. Four out of five people prefer the softness of new puffs over the leading regular tissue. This is softer tissue. This year, it's really, really soft. Oh, that is soft. Soft enough to make you switch? Once you use puffs, you'll never go back to anything else. The old brand is history. I am definitely switching to puffs. Switch to new Ultra Soft Puffs. So soft, they're like first aid for your sore nose. Nobody takes my puffs. In art, taste is subjective, but in life, good taste is well-defined. Fancy Feast Gourmet Cat Food. Exceptionally moist and delicious Fancy Feast. Good taste is easy to recognize. As you can see, your dishwasher detergent gets the dirt off, but water alone can't get all of the detergent off. Jet dry rinse agents can! Jet dry rinses off residues for shiny, clean dishes. Tonight, catch wings at its new time when Brian says those magic words. Your breasts are huge. And Rebecca's helping Fraser forget Lilla. What was that? Plus, you won't believe the surprise guest on Cheers. Then, Jerry and George, gay? I've been outed. I wasn't even in. The year's funniest Seinfeld. I thought we were friends. Guaranteed. Tonight. 
contrary to your less than humble opinion, I am not trying to sabotage your career for the sake of my family. What are you doing exactly? Can well, you tell me that? for the first thing, Jake has agreed to do a new video of you. Uh -huh. And second of all, I've arranged for some studio time for some album cuts. However, that's a little bit difficult to do if we don't have any songs. You'll get... You'll get the songs. Great. Good. Then I'm out of here. Unless, of course, you need to yell at me some more. All right, well, maybe I was a little overreacted. Is that an apology? No, Laura, it's not an apology. Look, I got a lot of things to worry about. I got Jen, I got a new baby, I got rent. I got, I got food to put on the table. I just want to know if I'm getting a paycheck so I can take care of all these things. Calm down, okay? Dean, if you don't let me down, I will not let you down. Now, if that happens, then there's no stop in your career. Yeah, hello. Dean, it's Kevin. Want to there? Yes, Kevin. How are you? Nice to talk to you. Hold on a minute. She's right here. Thanks. Hi, what's up? Well, it's about your mother. Is she all right? Oh, apparently not. Cass wants to meet with you in a half hour at Sassy's. All right. Uh, well, can you be there? Well, I've got an appointment, but I guess I could cancel it. Okay. All right. Great. Well, I'll see you there. Okay, bye. Thank you. Gotta go. What's going on? I don't know, but it's not good. Hmm. Any arrhythmia? No. How about loss of memory? Never. Mr. Carson, I understand you've been having difficulty breathing. It's to be expected, Doctor. It's one of the more recognizable symptoms of degenerative heart disease. Well, it looks like your condition is getting worse, Mr. Carson. Of course Carson. it's getting worse, Doctor. I'm dying. Can I run some tests? No tests. Douglas. No tests. Mr. Carson, you and I have talked about the possibility of a heart transplant, if you qualify, but I can't tell. Without more of your bloody tests. It's a chance at life, sir. For how long? How much pain? How many months in the hospital? Wouldn't that be better than choosing to cut your life short? I am choosing the life that God gave me. I'm trying to live it with dignity and with as much control as I can. Okay, well, um, I'll just call on you tomorrow. Hey, Christy. Dr. Beckett, thank you so much. I'm so sorry. He's just not himself. Uh, it's okay. You know, I wish... I, I just wish I could convince him. But I'll just try and call you tomorrow and see what's going on. Thank you. Mm. doing the right thing. You know what the right thing is. Please, just try to accept it. Douglas, I'm so scared of losing you. I know, my darling. Would you read for me? Douglas, I really don't feel like reading but now. It's so soothing. Especially when it's Keats. Look, I've marked Ode to a Nightingale. My heart aches, and the drowsy numbness pains my senses, though hemlock I have... Look, start here. Darkling, I listen. And for many a time, I have been half in love with easeful death, called him soft names and many amused rhyme. To take into the air my quiet breath now more than ever seems it rich to die. No, I can't. Do this anymore. What's gotten into you? Your demands. Your control. Don't feel this. Don't have feelings for Kaz. Don't do this. Act this way. Is it I... so much to ask? Is it so much to ask? To, that you help yourself live? What right do you have? To tell me how to act and what to do if you won't even make an effort to live long enough to share it with me. It's gone. It's not gone. You got tough stains like this? It's gone. It's not gone. You need this. New Lysol hard water stain cleaner. It's specially made to get mineral deposits and soap scum good and gone. It's gone. 
New Lysol hard water stain cleaner. Get stains good and gone. It's still gone. Because no other pain is like your arthritis pain. Now there's aspirin-free, Bayer Select pain relief for arthritis pain. Made with a non-aspirin ingredient shown to effectively relieve that aching, throbbing pain. Beth and I wanted to knock them dead at our reunion. She got a salon perm, and I gave myself an Ogilvy home perm for a lot less. At the reunion, friends said, did you always have such gorgeous curly hair? They told Beth, nice perm. Precisely Rice got automatic shutoff timing. You can't over perm or under perm. You just can't get it wrong. People said I look better than I did in school. So much for the salon. Jimmy, you sure you told everyone about the potluck dinner? Yeah, Mom. Yes. Hi. Hi. And soap top stuffing. Mm. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, oh, voila. Chicken and soap top. Ah, it's terrific. Right, right? Oh, oh, hi, 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 hi. Let me guess. Chicken and stovetop. Well, yeah. Uh, wait, who do you love all the herbs and spices? Uh, celery and onion. You, you know. Jimmy, Jimmy, told, Jimmy told us. Oh, Jimmy. You can never get enough stovetop stuffing. And to make as little or as much as you want, try stovetop in the canister. Now people are feeling shower fresh in a surprising new way. Shower to shower each day. Trusty folder away. Introducing shower to shower antiperspirant. Shower to shower each day. Away. We've combined the most effective anti-wetness ingredient with cornstarch to keep you feeling fresh and dry all day. Shower freshness all day. New shower to shower antiperspirant. All right, Gladys, from the top. Though we know you love butter, Fleischmann's found something other in Ooh. over butter. All the smoothness of butter with a rich, creamy flavor. New mm. move over butter. It's either move over butter or nothing at all. With sweet, creamy buttermilk, zero cholesterol. Move mm. over mm. butter. New move over butter from the folks at Fleischmann's. You okay? Yeah. How's the coffee? That's good. I made it myself. And I heated the croissants. I'm very honored. <sighs> oh, you want some butter? No, thank you. Preserves? No, I don't think so. I want you to know that the housekeeper usually does all of this, but I gave her the morning off because I wanted us to have some privacy. I was eating at the do that. I know what I wanted to. I was I have to get to work. Oh no, no, Hank, don't run, please. Um, we've got so much to talk about. Yeah, like what? Well, like Tommy. Well, I'm I'm sure that Tommy's having a ball with his mom. You know, he's probably spoiling him rotten. But you'd rather be doing that, right? You know what I'd like to be doing? I, I, I'd like to take my son to a few ball games this summer. I, I, I'd like to help him with his homework. I'd like to do things that dads do with his son. You will do those N things? No, like... no. His mother will. I, I could use the company. I can't. Oh, it'll be fun. I could think of such a lot of things that'll keep us busy. Iris, look, <laughs> uh, I'm not like you. Remember, I work for a living. I'm sorry I didn't mean it that way. I know what you meant. Look, I, I work on the clock. You know, if I don't show up, I get docked. I'm being the boss. I'm going to pull a few strings for you. The hell you are. Well, this is this special. We're here in a bar to talk about my mother's alcoholism. It's gotten worse. What happened now? She was drinking at the wedding reception last night. How much? Enough so that she attracted attention. Sloan noticed. And I bet she was doing cartwheels. Stone doesn't want her back at the show for now. And you agree? Under her current condition, yes, I would have to agree. Tell me, Rachel, how are Jenna's ratings? Better than your mother's. So are the demographics. I thought so. Morna, Felicia couldn't control herself last night. She was not aware at all about what she was doing, how she was acting. If we give her back this show, it'll put her under a lot of pressure, Luna. 
I'm afraid that will increase the drink. I don't really think that you know that for sure, Rachel. Lorna, I want her back on the show, but not under these conditions. Can I suggest something? Yes, of course. I think we're all here because we want to help Felicia. Now, I think seeing a therapist should be the first step. She won't even admit she has a problem. How are we going to convince her to see a therapist? Not her. Us. Come on. I have a friend. He's an abuse counselor, Victor Rodriguez. Now, he suggested that if we really want to help Felicia, we should see him as a group. I've met him. He seems to think that he can help us help Felicia. That is, as long as we all agree on what's best for Felicia. What's worth a shot? Anything. I think we should also include Jenna. Well, that's going to be a tough one, Cass, considering that little Miss Jenna doesn't believe that Felicia has a problem. Look, Jenna is too important in Felicia's life to leave her out of this meeting. Fine, I'll ask her. Don't expect miracles, because Jenna thinks that we're the enemy. It's going to be very hard to convince her that we know what's best for Felicia. Hi! <laughs> what a nice surprise! How are you, sweetheart? Oh, frantic and busy. How are you? How are you? Good. Come on in. Where's Dean? Oh, there Where's he is. Where's Dean? Hi. How are you, Felicia? Good. I'm just working on some stuff. Don't mind me. Got to get some nutritional value. Go ahead, go ahead. What's going on? I have a great idea. What? Let's go shopping. Oh, I can't right now. I'm buying. Come on, what do you say? I mean, we had such a great time the other day. Just the two of us. I, I mean, it, it was special for you, of wasn't it? Of course it was special. I had a great time. Who wouldn't have a great time with you? Well, Lorna, for one. But we're not going to get into that. <laughs> well, I'd really like to, but I'm just too busy right now. Can you be another time? Okay, okay. I understand. Jenna, I love you, honey. I love you, too, Mom. Huh. You're growing up so fast. Is everything all right? Absolutely. <laughs> you know what? What? I'll call you, and we'll do lunch. How does that sound? All right. When you go. have some free time. Okay. Oh, wait, Mom. Um... Come to think of it, I do have a break between meetings, so why don't we meet for coffee? I thought you were busy. Well, if we meet at Sassy's, then it's close to the studio. That way I can do it. Besides, I think that there are some things I really need to talk to you about. I don't need a chaperone, Mom, Jenna. I know that you can handle your drinking. If you think that, then we're up against an awful lot of people. Well, they don't know you like I know you. Especially Lorna. I also want you to know that you are the strongest, most courageous woman that I know. You are. I'll meet you at that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if it's Dr. Beckett, send him away. Francis. This is a bad time, isn't it? I can come back. No, okay. maybe. Nonsense. You're always welcome here. Come in. Christy and I were just discussing my medical condition. You're feeling worse, aren't you, Douglas? <laughs> yes, she is. The doctors seem to think that more tests are required. Christy agrees. And Douglas doesn't, of course. I've been trying to explain to her how I feel. Yeah, but you know me, Christy Carson, broken record, droning on and on about how proper medical treatment might actually save his life. A life without dignity, Christy. Douglas, I still don't understand why it's selfish for me to want you to live. Christy, I know how hard it is to let someone you love go, especially when all you really want to do is keep them oh with you. Oh, God, you don't know anything, Mary Frances! <laughs> You walked in here saying all the right things. How you understand Douglas so perfectly and how you're there to help him carry out his last wishes. Calm down, Christine. No! He's not your husband. You and Cass don't have to count your future in weeks and months. Christy, I didn't mean to upset you. He's my husband, Mary Francis. You leave him alone. He's mine, not yours. They ain't the same things, got the same heartburn, but his antacid is very different. His Tums has calcium, most antacids don't. 
Original Rolaids uses an aluminum salt. This uses aluminum and magnesium. So does this. Of all these, only Tums helps wipe out heartburn and gives you calcium you need every day. Something my body needs anyway. I like that. Calcium-rich Tums. That's the one you want. In art, taste is subjective, but in life, good taste is well-defined. Fancy Feast Gourmet Cat Food. Exceptionally moist and delicious. Fancy Feast. Good taste is easy to recognize. The bigger your corn gets, the smaller and more painful your shoe feels. Dr. Scholl's Corn Removers quickly cushion the pain. Then they're guaranteed to dissolve the corn. So buy Dr. Scholl's Corn Removers and get back into things. I'm with you. cellular phone, watch out. Someone could be stealing your number. One customer that had a $45,000 phone bill. How's it done? We'll show you tonight on NBC Nightly News. The time, 80s and 90s. The place, Hollywood. The moment, the black cinema renaissance. I'm Anne Marie Johnson with this black history moment. In the 1970s, filmmakers like Melvin Van Peebles would launch a new wave of black cinema, which unfortunately died quickly. The movement has been reborn with a new crop of filmmakers. Spike Lee, Eddie Murphy, the Hudlin Brothers, John Singleton, and Uzen Palsy, the first black woman to direct a major motion picture. This moment in black history was brought to you by Kroger. There's only one Shirley Bragg in Nashville. Only one 36-year-old full-time mom who once a week buys Oval Redenbacher for the kids, Sarah Lee for her and her husband, and a fully prepared chicken dinner for five so she can take a second to enjoy the cheesecake. She does it all in one stop, at one store, Kroger. Because when you're keeping a big family together every day, you don't want to put a big meal together every night. Jeff McAtee, Channel 4 News, for the family. Iris, how, how are you going to explain that I'm not coming in to work? I mean, uh, Hank won't be in to work because we spent half the night making love and we decided to sleep in. It's nobody's business what you and I did last night. Oh, right, okay. So maybe you're going to tell my boss that you invited me over here to unclog your sink. But well, the pilot light went out and you don't know how to fix it. I mean, after all, you gave the maid the morning off. Look, I've done my best to try and make you feel comfortable around here. Yeah, meaning I get to use a front elevator. Meaning I care about you. I would never, ever do anything to embarrass you. Hey, does it really upset you that you're surrounded by things that you can't buy or that I have an apartment that you can't afford? Yes! Well, and that's the case. Perhaps you're right. Maybe you should go. I can't. Oh, don't you know it doesn't matter where I am? I could be in a house or a, or a place or a car or anything. It doesn't matter as long as I'm with you. Iris. You're the one who matters. I don't care if they dock me a month's pay. I don't know what it's like to live like this, Mary Francis. You're right, Prissy, I don't. To have the doctors tell you that a heart transplant could save his life. Is that true? It's their last best guess at my chance for recovery. Why don't you take it? Because I'm not an experiment. Because no one can guarantee success. Yes, but if it works, then you're guaranteed life. For how long? At whose expense? With how much pain? Now, Christy, if I went through with this, I'd be spending the rest of my life in and out of a hospital under their care, their supervision, following their orders. It'd be worse than death for me, Christy. Mary Frances, can you explain? <laughs> Please don't bother. I'm not an idiot. I understand what you're saying, Douglas. I don't agree with it, that's all. Where are you going? I'm going out. I need a little air. Oh, Christy, please don't go. We'll talk, okay? Please. Christy? She 
be okay. Please don't say things just to comfort me, Mary Frances. We both know that may not be true. This Lorna. is important, Really? Jenna. Well, you were just at my apartment that was morning. business. Great, I gotta go now. Listen, I have better things to do than to ruin your day. Do you? Yes, and this is about Felicia. Well, I just saw her, Lorna. She's fine. No, she's not fine, and you hear know it. go again with the drinking. She's not drinking. Yes, she is. I just came from Kath and Rachel and Kevin, and they are very concerned about her. Really? So now we're having secret little meetings behind Mom's back and mine. Listen, I'm here. I'm here because we want to include you. And you know that I'm on Mom's side, don't you? Mom has a lot of people on her side. You just happen to be the one who doesn't want to see the big picture. Look, when are you going to get it through your thick skull, Lorna, that she's not an alcoholic? And when are you going to get it through your thick skull that until Felicia gets help, she might as well just go and lay down and die? Here. What? What's this? This is Mother at her best. You want everything that touches your baby to be gentle. Like his first friend and his first formula. We chose Carnation Good Start. It's different from other leading formulas. Good Start's protein is specially processed into smaller pieces to make it gentle, easily digestible. No formula is more nutritious. Remember, breast milk is best, but Good Start formula is made to be gentle. Gentle for you. Carnation Good Start. It's made to be gentle. Before you pull it over, slip it on, zip it up, caress to feel softer. Before you button it up, slide it on, wrap it round, caress. It's the first step to feeling beautiful. It's the moisturizing body bar with bath oil. Caress leaves skin softer than soap can. Before you tie it up, clip it on, step on in, or step on out. Before you dress, You baked this cheesecake. Mm, I can't believe you baked a cheesecake. Mm, mm. It tastes wonderful. Oh, I want seconds. Carol, I want the recipe. Mm, not me. I'll wait till they come up with a nice, easy mix. Mm. Right, a mix with real cherries. Come on. Honestly, Carol, this must have taken all day. Yeah, no wonder you didn't have time to do your hair. <laughs> Jello cheesecake, now with real fruit topping. You know, I hear Jello makes a good cheesecake. In honor of President's Day, NCI friends and family members can save up to 50% on daytime calls. White House operator. Is Bill there? Now, that doesn't mean you should call the president. Enjoy President's Day savings from NCI. Sweet, succulent, sun-sweet, pleasantly pitted prunes. Sweet, sun-sweet, succulent. Sweet, su succulent, sun-sweet, pleasantly pitted prunes. They are so much easier to eat. Can we try it again? Keep going. <laughs> If you thought you knew his family. If you thought you knew his story. Champion of the world! The one! If you thought you knew Mike Tyson, think again. He had it all till one woman said, enough. Mike Tyson, the movie, NBC Friday. Douglas won't even think about surgery. Well, maybe he needs time to get used to the idea. I don't know Douglas and Mary Francis. Is she still a part of all this? He listens to her. And she supports him. Well, you know how I feel about all this, Miss Carson. Your husband can't evaluate all his options fairly or accurately as long as Frankie Frame is hovering over him with these ideas of spiritual healing. Doctor, you said my husband's condition is getting worse. Yes, I did. Can you be more specific? Not without more tests. His birthday's in the summer. Do you think he's... In my opinion, Miss Carson, he'll be lucky to see the spring. No. I'm sorry. Excuse no. me. Can I get you a glass of water no. something? Maybe I can get Why? the nurse to bring you.
Carson. Miss Carson. Thanks again. Well, it is all set. Victor will meet with us tomorrow afternoon. Good. I'll clear my schedule. So will I. And we'll take our first step toward helping Felicia. Yes, um, I'm meeting my daughter in a few minutes, so I'd like a table for two. Would you like to wait at the bar? Yes, I would. Thank you. Hi, honey. Would you like to come and join us? I'm meeting someone. It's just for a few minutes. We'd like to have your company. You'd like to make sure that I don't have drink. Felicia, I have nothing more to say to you, Cass. How is she? She refuses to talk to me. Do you want to try? Oh, Cass. I don't even know what to say to her anymore. I've got to go. I'm already late for an appointment. Take care. I've got to go, too. You can't watch her every minute of the day, Cass. I've changed my mind. I, I will have a glass of white wine. Rachel Corey and her stepdaughter and colleague at Corey Publishing, Iris Wheeler. Two literary hacks, if I've ever seen them. Now, I want you to remember this. Could she? I mean, she, I thought she could handle it. She, she said she could handle it. And she truly believes that, completely. But you can't, Janet, not if you want to help her. Look, I don't see how going to somebody that doesn't even know our mother can help her. Victor knows a lot of things. But he doesn't know our mother. And right now, neither do you. Well, you want to know something, Lorna? I've been in a place where I needed love and support, and I didn't get it. Jenna, if you keep hand-holding and, and, and taking care of Felicia and telling her that everything's going to be okay, you might as well just go out and get a headstone. Well, you know what? Scare tactics are just not going to work on me. Well, then what will? Do you want to lose another mother? Because I don't. Well, you never wanted Felicia to be your mother, so in your own terms, why don't you just back off? Don't you? You know I do. Then start showing. I do, Lorna. Look, you and I have to be on the same side of this thing, Jenna. If we keep pulling each other apart, we're going to pull Felicia apart Look, until she I've breaks go, or worse. Okay, I've got a meeting. Where? With, with Felicia? That's none of your business. Well, do yourself a favor today. When you're out with her at lunch, take a good look at her. Listen to her excuses and see what she has to say. And then decide for yourself if you really think that helping her is by not helping her. play with because some of my friends are sick and i'm making them feel better with kleenex ultra they're really soft because they're made with a potion well actually there's a lotion in new kleenex ultra tissues an oil-free lotion so unlike others they're never oily only ultra soft it's no fun being stuffed up even if you're always stuffed up <coughs> new kleenex ultra ultra softness is all you feel Did your lunch excellent? It's good for you. Teacher, why must everything that's so good for me taste so bad? Ow! 
If Hector Boyardee had never been seven years old, perhaps he would not have become Chef Boyardee, dedicating his life to making hot, wholesome foods that taste the way kids like. One day, children everywhere will thank me. The biggest medical news of the 90s may be a special group of vitamins called antioxidants. Because healthy bodies need antioxidants, like beta-carotene, to help strengthen the body's natural defenses against cell damage. Centrum contains the complete antioxidant group, plus more vitamins and minerals than any leading brand. So eat right, and to supplement your diet, take Centrum, more complete from A to Zinc, and with the complete antioxidant group, more important than ever. Ah, the Nature Valley Granola Bar. Once you come to know this wonderfully wholesome taste, you realize a Nature Valley Granola Bar could be the candy bar nature intended. Now, introducing a dandruff shampoo just for women. Selsun Gold for women. With the number one doctor-recommended dandruff medicine, plus our new conditioning system. New Selsun Gold for women. Effective on dandruff. Gentle on hair. The new times on NBC. Friday, catch out all night on its new night. Let's get the party started. With special guest Natalie Cole. Then it's the return of the show the critics call a winner. You're right, you're right. Rhythm and Blues following out all night, NBC Friday. Catch the new times on NBC. I'm so glad you could join me. Too. <laughs> You know something? I forgot to tell you. Um, I had a really good time at Grant and Vicky's wedding. Oh, you did, did you? Mm -hmm. Boy, that was spectacular, wasn't it? You know what I mean? It was the most lavish affair. They, they really pulled out all the stuff. So it sounds like you had a really good time. Yes, yes, I did. I'm sure that you're probably going to hear about this. What? Say what? Well, I don't want you to worry about it. I don't want you to make any more out of it than it is, really. I. I. Well, I, I ended up drinking a little too much, and I, I, I seemed to lose control a little, and uh, would you know, I would do it in front of Cass and Rachel, of course. What happened? I, I don't, I don't really know. I, I remember thinking about your father's and my wedding, and then, well, then I, Oh, I don't know. Anyway, it's not a problem. I, I mean, I'm sure everybody understands. Yeah. You understand, of don't course. you? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But you know what? I have to go to the little Okay. I'll be right back. Over here. Okay. I've changed my mind. I'm going to go ahead and attend the meeting. What does it matter why I've changed my mind? Look, Mom is really vulnerable right now, and she's going to have to have someone there who's on her side. That's right. That person is going to be me. Your tea is always so soothing, Mary Frances. I had hoped Christy would be back by now. She may not be back for hours. But the last thing I want is for her to be angry with me, especially now, with the wedding so close. I see you brought your classwork. Yes, my, uh, my ethics class. I was on my way to the library when I stopped by. May I see? My teaching days are over, and I miss them. I, but I promise not to go over it with a red pen. I want your comments and your criticism. And you shall have them. May I keep this to look over? Sure, I have other copies. But do me a favor, don't let Christy see, okay? Yes, the subject matter may upset her. I seem to be what upsets her. Hey, Francis. <sighs> no matter what I say or do, Christy takes it in the wrong way. And I don't know why, and I have no idea as to what to do about it. All we can do is wait for her to come home. As you say, that can be ours. Especially if she's uh, releasing tension. Yes. 
especially a tenant. Do you think that's where she's gone, Douglas? Has Christy gone dancing? Christy. Hi. Surprised to see me? But Frankie's not here. I know. I came to talk to you. Is it Douglas? Does he need help? No, Douglas is... Douglas. Douglas is fine. I came... Uh, just, I, I need to talk about me. Well, actually, it's more about you. Maybe you'd like to sit down. Cass, I want to talk about you and me. I want to talk about us. Start packing, Lou, my old spaghetti stain. Sylvia, you can't get rid of me. I've been here since Donna's wedding. Oh, Cedar's got something new. Lou, meet carpet science. Sylvia, what's gonna work on me? Carpet science? Come on, I'm here for life. New carpet science has this emulsion cleaning action that wipes out stains, even old stains like you. Sylvia, no, 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 Lou, enjoy stain heaven. New carpet science from O'Cedar. It even sends old stains to stain heaven. O'Cedar makes your life easier. Incredibites. Crispy, bite-sized granola sandwiches filled with chocolate, peanut butter, vanilla cream. Great taste and granola goodness in a crispy, bite-sized sandwich. Incredibites. Incredibly, edibly good. Everyone's wearing bright colors today. But how do you remove stains without taking color out, too? Use new color bright Clorox, too. With special stain lifters to lift stains and brighteners to keep those colors bright. New Clorox 2 Color Safe Bleach. The color specialist. Take American cheese, make it wrap. You got a new idea for a tasty mm. kid snack. Wrap an apple with American cheese and your kids will cheer. Because any snack with American cheese gets you a big pat on the mm. back. American cheese, the snack kids love to eat. Sinus weather and your sinus medicine has made you drowsy. Next time, take Sudafed Sinus for relief of pain and pressure without drowsiness. For non-drowsy relief, depend on Sudafed Sinus. Afternoons with Channel 4 sizzle with days of our lives back in the afternoon at 2. Then it's Pat and Vanna spinning the Wheel of Fortune at 3, followed by Jeopardy at 3.30. At 4, it's everyone's favorite talk show host, Oprah. And at 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock with Dan Miller. Watch weekday afternoons on Channel 4. Desi's Home Movies, NBC Sunday. Coming to NBC on Valentine's Day, the real Lucy and Desi, their intimate moments. I wanted people to see this side of my parents. Their treasured memories. My first child was I was 39. <laughs> their immortal magic. I think if it wouldn't have been for Lucy, I would have stopped crying a long time ago. Their own home movies. We really had a ball. A never-before-seen look at the love that survived a lifetime. Lucy and Desi, a home movie, Sunday on NBC. 25 years ago, a big celebrity came to Lake Edna. KFC is commemorating that day with the amazing Founders Feast. For a limited time, buy two pieces of original recipe chicken, mashed potatoes with gravy, coleslaw, and a warm buttermilk biscuit. A complete meal, just $2.99. And get a slice of apple pie absolutely free. The KFC Founders Feast, just $2.99. A feast fit for a king or a colonel. We do chicken right this is Skippo. This is Hippo. Skippo. Hippo. Skippo is not just a pack of cards. Hippo's not just a pack of derm. Skippo is fun for two to six players. Hippo was fun for the Egyptians who worshipped him as a god. Skippo is played by building runs of cards. Hippo's played like this. Skippo is won by the first person to play all their cards. Now, the next time you want to have fun, what's it going to be? I don't think so. Skippo, from the makers of Uno. And now to Lux Skippo. Some people will do anything to bring home the great taste of chi -Chi's. What they should do is simply get it at their grocers. Demetria Kalodimos, Channel 4 News, for the family.
Marty, Terry, whatever your name is, you're a beat reporter. Beat reporters cover the beat. And this beat is concerned with Sand Gardner's case. But I want to know, listen, I want to know where all this information is coming from. Well, yeah, what does it have to do with the Alamanes? Everything about, is the information true? Everything. Can you... I, I, I've got, I've got to go. I've got to go. Listen, I, listen, you call me later. Everything, give it to me. Thanks. You can't do this. You've got to go. Why? Wait, there's no... Why? Why can't we just say I'm here visiting? Like yesterday, the day before, and the day before that? I don't think so. Every day she's noticed there's more chores done. If she sees you anywhere near this, she's going to put two and two together and realize that you've been doing all the work here. <laughs> you can't, listen, you can't stay. you got to go.